Hey everybody. I tried, to, I tried to temper my enthusiasm. Hey everybody. Welcome <laughs> to the. I almost said something else. Welcome to Hey We're Talking. We are uh, this week going to be talking about dog barks. No, I'm kidding, Derek. Don't 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 get don't say anything about it. All right, nobody even heard it. Uh, no, this week before I even say what we're going to talk about, let's talk about who is here and who's going to be talking on this show. Who's going to talk when we say, "Hey, we're talking"? Is it the guy right here with the red headphones? Yeah, it's red headphones guy. Well, you, can you let me talk? Sorry about the dogs barking, Scott. Oh, no, nobody cares. Um, uh... Just me. He's, he whoa, keeps whoa. going. Some some people in the house aren't. Yeah, maybe care something's it. going on. The dogs just maybe he you wants know. some YouTube fame or something. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, thanks, so, Goober. Hey, I'm Derek. There uh, you go. Hey, there you. Hey, go. we're talking. <laughs> and the other voice you hear is Bob. And we are talking. Yes. We what are. are we talking about today, Scott? All right. Here's what we're gonna do. Oh. It's kind of a a sports week. Here on Hey, we're talking. So you know, we're going to talk about sports memorabilia. Nothing yes. more exciting than sports memorabilia. Am I right, Derek? I mean, you're a big collector, right? Uh, sure. No, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's go with sports memorabilia, the thing that we all have tons of. <laughs> mm. Bob, what and, about uh, you? Are you a collector? Uh, you know what? I've got. I've still got about four thousand. Baseball, what? basketball, football, hockey, NASCAR, golf, NASCAR, collecting cards. Nice. Dude, I've got a whole lot of them. And uh, unfortunately, they're not worth any money. And I don't want to just throw them all away. So I do have a lot of that stuff. Um, what I've era got are they from? Are they from like what, like what years? When did you start doing it? It was probably between 2002 and... I don't know, 2007, something yeah, like that. Yeah, but hold on. If you wait, and there's like, some older ones in there too, but but if you hold on to some of that stuff, you might be surprised. I mean, it's going to take. That's the thing about cards, especially. Okay, we're going to get into the real nitty gritty here, but the cards. Uh, the biggest thing is you want to get the person's rookie card or their first year. Right. That's always the most important thing, Derek. Okay, just so you know, you want to get that rookie card. Okay. You understand my so son far? Ha- my, my son has, I think my grandmother, my grandmother of all people gave my son like tons of football cards or baseball cards. He has them all in a, I think a box and then he put them into the, the plastic sleeves, yeah, sleeves I got that. in the book. Yeah. My brothers had that tons of thousands of cards. Yeah. I went I on. I don't think, th- I don't think they're worth anything. Now here's, here's. Don't either. The time when I started collecting cards was probably the worst time to start collecting cards in my entire life. I had just gotten married. I was <laughs> I was 21 years old, and we did not have a lot of money. And I just had this thing where I was like, if I go up to the store and I buy a pack of these cards, there's a good chance there's one of these really good ones in there, and I'll make all my money back. And so every time I had like a spare five bucks, I'd go up to this card store. It was like playing the lottery. Right. And I lost every time. So my wife was like, honey, um, yeah, we just got married and that $5 could have fed us for a day. Why are you doing this? And I was like, I got a problem. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I had a problem with trading cards at one point. It was really weird. It's like the, the man version of Beanie Babies. Yeah, you know? basically, <laughs> basically. It's like it's just, yeah, collecting anything. It's a little weird. It's, but the same thing happened with, with pipes. I mean, which one of you guys hasn't had that thing where you go on a little bit of a run with the pipes, right? Am I right or am I right? Yep, yep. Yeah. Yep. Stinking pipes. Anyway, I have uh, basically just two cards that are like my prized possessions that I've been hel- holding on to for a very long time. They're both rookie cards for Steve Eiserman, who is a Red Wing. So those are my, those are my crowning achievements of card collecting. But that's it. I don't have any, like, really super expensive cards or anything like that. Derek, by the way, I don't know if you can hear in the background, my dog is now barking. So your dog has now set off my dog. We've got a dog barking, like, chain reaction. Oh, maybe they'll sing together and you got, it'll go viral and you guys will be on top of the YouTube world. Maybe, <laughs> on, maybe you'll go on Ellen, you know? Yeah, cool. I would love that. That's pretty awesome. We could go no, on I, Ellen with cool. her hey, dogs. What's up, Ellen? 
That'd be pretty awesome. So, um, I do have a whole bunch of, um, uh, w- amongst my cards, some of them have got, you know, pieces of a game-used jersey, game-used bat, uh, several autograph cards. Um, most of them are nobodies. But, um, so, I mean, it is a pretty cool collection, but at this point, you know, what, what do I do with it? And there's not much I'm going to do with it. I've got a few um, Chicago White Sox plaques, things of that nature, but nothing major as far as collecting. A couple jerseys football jersey, stuff like that, but I've never been one to collect, you know, a major piece of of memorabilia. Scott, I don't you have some stuff? I know you got the, the yeah, signs got, behind it, which isn't memorabilia, but Well I've got a couple of things. I mean I have some some pictures and stuff like that, but I also have a signed picture from uh, there was a hockey game between the Red Wings and the Colorado Avalanche that was very famous because it was called the Brawl. And it's Darren McCarty beating the crap out of Claude Lemieux <laughs> on my wall, and he signed it. Um, but most of the stuff that I collected uh, was all when they won the cup the first time after 42 years or whatever, so 1997. So I, I got newspapers and all sorts of stuff like that. I mean, it's all probably worthless, but at the time, right. I thought it was the cool. It's like you know you were talking about when the Cubs won the World Series, you went out and got the newspapers and you sold them to people, and people right. played yeah. like paid these crazy amounts of money for them. I went out and got, I stayed up the whole night after they won and I just went to all the 7-Elevens and, you know, all these places and got as many of the newspapers as I could get my hands on. Yeah, it's it's amazing. It becomes like a newspaper becomes a piece of memorabilia. Yeah. You know, and it's because it's history. It is. And they specifically take those pictures in mind for, hey, I need to get the best one for the newspaper because we know this event is going to allow us to sell more newspapers than we do in in six months you know and and that's what they did they had a lot of running of uh the chicago papers and of course i'm not a cubs fan but i went and bought a whole bunch of them so you and, get some uh, money quad- quadrupled my money on each one so i was good derek i'm thinking to myself that maybe had the cowboys made it to the super bowl and won the super bowl would you have gone out and gotten like a paper or something like that um i really Maybe I don't know. Print is dead, guys. Come on, uh, <laughs> but it's like something to hold on to. Like, hey, I was there. I, I do have I do have my paper from when the White Sox won the World Series. How I've long still got when was that? Two thousand five. So okay. I've still got the whole newspaper. Um, you know, beautiful, awesome front cover. So I've never put it in a frame or anything. It's just in a big binder full of, you know, I guess memorabilia or something like that. So, Derek, yeah, go ahead. Scott, you know, yeah, if, uh, you were like, yeah. Get get a get a newspaper to say I was there, but I wasn't there. I was here. I was always here. Um, you were I in Texas, man. Yeah, but it's it's a huge state, and my dog keeps barking. Nobody, okay. nobody, let him in. Please. That's okay. <laughs> Did we sing in. with him? You, I mean, is that something that we should? Do you want to step not, off camera and let the dog in the house? I mean, that's nah. your prerogative. If you're feeling sadness for your poor puppy, barking. it might be cold out there. No, it ain't. You're in no, no you're in it's, Texas. It's, it's nice. It's, it's fine. Like, it's like 15 degrees. Here. I don't personally have any pieces of sports memorabilia, but my brother does. Uh, I have two brothers, and one of them, for one Christmas, he got on this kick where he wanted to get everybody some cool Christmas presents. And so for my other brother, he got him an autographed baseball with Nolan Ryan's signature on it. That's pretty That's awesome. awesome. And I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. I have a – so my one of my Steve Eiserman rookie cards, uh, there, were two, there were two that are semi-valuable. They were made by two different companies, by Topps and Opeachy. Opeachy is like the Canadian version of Topps, Okay. And the Opeachy one is worth more money. Well, I had the Tops rookie. My brother, who's younger, had the Opeachy rookie. And I would try all the time to trade for it. I'd be like, dude, I'll give you this guy and this guy for that one. He's like, no, I'm going to hold on to it. So when he was getting married at his rehearsal dinner, I was in the wedding, obviously. And uh, he gave it to me. That's As awesome. his best man, that was his present to me. So he gave me the Opeachy rookie card. And I think that was one of the biggest smiles I've ever had on my face. In a very, 
I was just like, oh my gosh, you're giving it to me? Because you don't know the things that I went through to try and get it from him. And then he gave it to me. So that was very nice. That's of him. Awesome. That's oh, peachy. My, my heart. Yeah, is yeah isn't it? And then he, one last story, and then I'll let you guys tell stories about this. But I have one. I stood in line again. Derek, all my stuff is hockey. I'm sorry. I just have a huge hockey background. Uh, there's two very famous hockey players that played for the Red Wings, Gordie Howe and Ted Lindsay. Gordie Howe has now since passed on. I think about a year ago he died, a uh, year and a half. Anyway, uh, they were at a pizza joint that was right down the street from where I worked. And I had this poster that I got from when I was a really little kid. Uh, they played on a, uh, they named the line that those guys played on the production line. And I had this poster from Olympia when my dad took me when I was a kid. And I took this poster to these guys to have them sign it. And I got in there and I was just like, I mean, I was so nervous. I was probably like 18 or 19 years old. <clears throat> I walked in. I put the poster down. And I'm just standing there. I don't, I'm not saying a word. <laughs> I don't say anything. And uh, Gordy Howe looks at me and goes, don't you say hello, kid? And I'm like, oh, hi, Mr. Howe. And then uh, they both sign it. And Ted Lindsay goes, don't you say thank you? And I was like, oh, sorry. Thank you, Mr. Lindsay. And that, and that was it. So that was my story. Oh. I, saw, I looked like a total idiot, obviously. These guys were having fun with me. I mean, they laughed. They thought it was funny that I was so nervous to meet them. Manners, Scott. But then Manners. somebody that my brother had over stole the poster. We don't know to this day where that poster is, but if you're out there and you took that poster out of my basement, in my room in the basement, you son of a... If I ever find you... It's time to fess up. Just give it back. Right. The thing's probably... Leave it on his front door. It's not worth anything to you. Give it back. My dad and my brother are always like, you lost it. And I was like, no, I did not lose it. (laughs) Somebody stole that thing. I had it tucked up, you know those drop ceilings in the basement? In my room, there was drop ceiling in the basement, and I stuck it up in the drop ceiling away from everybody because I didn't want anybody to touch it. I go to find it one day, gone. It had to be, one of, my, so it had to be one of my brother's friends because none well, of my friends time, had taken it. Well, next time, say hello and say thank you without being prompted, sir. There yeah, you maybe go. They came, maybe they came back and took it. <laughs> They were just that upset. Gordy with you. Howe and Ted Lindsay were like, "That kid's a weirdo. We want that back." All right, yeah, exactly. Those are my stories. I'm sorry, I'm regaling people with my childhood, but go ahead. No, it's a, I mean wonderful childhood memories, and you know it does suck that you don't have the poster. It'd be awesome to have hanging on your wall, but you know what do you what do you? It do? was more That's- to me. It was more about it. It has more sentimental value than anything else because the poster was not like in pristine condition, right? But it had more to do with the fact that when I was very young, my dad took me to a lot of games at Olympia, and that was one of the things. You know how they, they have, like, little nights where they give stuff away? They gave away that poster. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, my, my favorite possession is my Honus Wagner 1909 card. You I mean, liar. That's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> how much is that one worth? That thing is worth $2.8 million. For a card. Honus Wagner. Was he even good? Yeah. Was he a good baseball player? Yeah. I honestly don't. Was he? Yeah. I don't know. I think he was a shortstop for the Pirates, I think. Look and at this guy. Considered, considered to be by many the greatest of all time. Hey, I tried to watch that Ken Burns baseball documentary. I mean, it's a great documentary. Oh, I bet. Boring as hell. Yeah. But it was great. You know, it was great. Uh, there, I will. Do we need to close the show? We do. Soon? But go ahead. Say what you're going to say. Oh. Well, you know, the reason I'm probably averse to collecting any kind of sports memorabilia is because when I was three years old, uh, it was around, I don't know, Christmas time. My cousin, who my mother frequently babysat, you know, we were about the same age, when she would, you know, they would, her parents, I guess my aunt, would bop her on the head with the, uh, with the little Christmas wrapping paper tubes. Yeah. Well, I was living in Houston at the time, and we had in our house a one of those little miniature bats that you get as a souvenir from going oh, to the no. game. Oh, well, God. she 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 was used to getting bopped on the head with the little Christmas paper tube, so she took she found the little Houston Astros baseball no. bat and started banging my head, and uh, my mother said it looked like she was possessed. And, <laughs> 
<laughs> beat the beat the crap out of me. Didn't take me to no ER. I guess she. He's wasn't never very been the strong. same. He's never been the same. <laughs> That's why I am the way I am. He doesn't like souvenir bats any longer. Been ruined for him. If you have a souvenir bat, find out Derek's address and just <laughs> send, send it to him. him. A little PTSD <laughs> flashback. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to do a show someday of just stuff that happened in our childhood that ruined us for life. That would be a funny one. We should talk about that. It'd be a great one because I've got a million of them. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening today. Uh, we appreciate you and your support. Please tell your friends about us. Get our name out there because, you know, uh, nobody want to pass up the gold that's on this show. I mean, there's just some great information, some hilarious stories for you to regale your friends with so uh check us out hey we're talk hey we're talking <laughs> dot com and uh, on youtube just look up hey we're talking subscribe to us on itunes that would be awesome feel free to like leave a uh what do you call that a review, a review. Yeah. on itunes we need that we definitely review need us that. if you can and uh facebook just look up hey we're talking we've got some people on facebook that follow us it's pretty cool we've got people yeah, that a, comment facebook's actually starting to grow so we've got cool. a, a great group of people on youtube too they always chime in with questions yeah. and comments about the show we really appreciate all you guys for doing that i want to actually say one of the guys we were doing this little who got thing and i'm going a little long so i'm going to hurry up but Chad, it's Chad Yarborough, right? Is that how you say it? I'm, why am I like when I'm saying his last name? Like, <laughs> but Chad, he, every show has uh, great comments and, and things that he shares with us. There's a bunch of people that do that. I'm not leaving anybody out, but I remember specifically we have not given Chad a shout out, I don't think. So I wanted to do that. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you soon. Peace. Peace.